Martin Maureen asks, any of you experienced constant bloating and stomach distension? Constant bloating. Okay, so we have, of course, different areas of the stomach, right? People say stomach, but they may need belly. So you have multiple stages of the digestive and eliminative systems. So the stomach is the area that's immediately below the rib cage, and then it kind of uh, goes to the right. If the swelling is all around your belly button, as in, in a little while, you are swelling in such way as if you are pregnant, that has to do with the small intestine. If the swelling is right across from left, from right side of the ribs to the left side of the ribs, all the way across, that's your colon. Here's why swelling. I'll give you a different example. If you step badly and twist your ankle, you will notice that the body will start repairing the injury. And there are five symptoms to the inflammation, which is required to repair an injured tissue. And these are redness, heat, swelling, pain, and loss of function. This same process is taking place in your gut, whether it's your stomach or whether it's your small intestine or large intestine. And when this is taking place, you are noticing, especially the swelling and pain, you may not notice the heat and redness because they are on the inside, not noticeable. The loss of function is there and you will be digesting less well or eliminating less well just because the body is trying to repair itself. What is it trying to repair? The number one injury in this process is caused by foods that are creating an allergic reaction. An allergic reaction is a histamine triggered reaction. And histamine is the molecule that signals the repair. Inflammation and repair is one and the same thing. So when you take an antihistamine, you're actually telling the body stop making repairs, which is kind of counter counterproductive really in, in the long run. What we really need to do is prevent the injuries, not, not prevent the repairs. And the injuries, well, the most injurious foods we know of are grains, especially wheat. All the foods that have glyphosate on them, which these days the worst are chickpeas and lentils and dairy. The dairy typically from northern breed cows. So if you have buffalo milk, that's the cow, southern cow, it will be probably less ugly and goat and sheep and camel will be less injurious than the northern cow. So in, in modern days, what this means is you have to go grain free and dairy free, very likely. And then there may be other foods that are triggering for you. So you need to eliminate that. So the swelling of the belly indicates that there is a injury followed by an attempt to repair. You need to stop the injuries. That's the bottom line of it. I thought of one more thing, and that's this. There are histamine reducing supplements. I mean, you can take antihistamine drugs. There are antihistamines that go through the stomach, you can work with that. And we have one other product and it's called Tessamet, T-E-S-S-A-M-E-T. -S it's a natural way of lowering the digestive system reactivity, less histamine reaction. You can try that.